uh, Royal Flush here, uh, playing some Marvel 2. Uh, I'm sure some of you who are still playing are enjoying having a good time. And uh, seeing some different intricacies of Marvel vs. Capcom 2's uh, fight system. Uh, one of the things I actually want to talk about is how effective anti-air assists are in this game. Um, if you don't know, I mean, the game shows you on the character select screen the assists that you choose for your characters. You get projectile assists, you have maybe some expansion assists, like for Gambit this is his. Um, when he's on assist, he, uh, he, he does a... Uh, you know, from the other end of the screen, um, heavy punch kinetic card. But I want to focus in on the effectiveness of anti-air assist because with how fast this game moves and you just see how movement is handled, not every character, I, I think as movement as a whole in this game, is actually kind of weak. Um, because not everyone can air dash, and if you can air dash, maybe there's only a small select few characters you could even air dash to begin with. Um, and I think Marvel as a whole, um, even if you don't have air dash options, you're probably going to find yourself in the air trying to find your way in. I, I know I do. So, but with anti-air assist, um, I think they're very valuable to have, even, even in, um, in the sense that maybe I don't know who I want, or like maybe like characters, uh, I don't know what to choose for them, but choosing anti-air is almost always a really good option, okay? Because you might not be able to combo off of it, I mean you can maybe in some situations, like maybe off of a launch. But... Okay, technically that was a combo off of uh, anti-air, so... Same thing with that, you combo off an anti-air, so... Okay, that would technically be a combo if I wanted to point. Um, but, look at this. Uh, here's a way I think you can test out that I would recommend you test out your secret anti-air assist is invincible on startup. I already have uh, Cyclops on uh, his Mega Optic Blast Super, of course, before two punches. Okay, he's gonna be on play. I'm going to call my assist at the Super Flash. Now, okay, did you see that? Guile came out regardless of the fact that he's he's just an assist character. Okay, I'll have Jim do the same thing. Same thing, okay? Though, if you're too far away, then you're not gonna eat the damage, okay? So, these are just two examples of anti-air assist. Okay. So, he, he did come out invincibly, but his his assist isn't really intended to uh, tank such damage. Um, but yeah, some of the best anti-air assists in the game. Um, we can go ahead and look at the character select screen. Um, you got, you know, your top, top 10 characters with really good anti-air assists. You got Cyclops, you got Psylocke. Um, who else has a really good anti-air? Uh, Cable does. Um, Dooms is a special case because his is projectile, so his doesn't really count. Um, but Captain Commando. Uh, who else? Nash. Nash and God both have good anti-air assists. Um, so, uh... Even though I might be missing a few, maybe Shoryuken from Ryu and uh, Ken, and maybe, uh, I don't know if Mega Man has an anti-air. But, um, regardless, I think it's really worth noting that your character's anti-air assists are really worth choosing, because not only are they gonna allow you to breathe and find your turn back in this game, but uh, they're really just good uh, to have as an assist. Um, so I, my main team is this, or at least one of my main shells is this. Uh, Gambit on Projectile, Kyle on anti air assist, and then Jin on anti air assist. Like, I can deal with some higher tier teams just with knowing with the fact that I have two good anti air assists, okay? I'm not doing the most optimal combos, but I have two anti air assists that serve um, a nice function for me, you know? So, you know, I, I, play, I play this team just knowing that I have something reliable that just works in this meta of the game. So, I think when you put together a team, think really carefully about your assist, and if they have an anti-air assist, um, consider using it, okay? So, um, there is one thing I want to point out, though, if you screw up. <laughs> so, we're gonna put, uh, so I'll go, we'll have, uh, we'll put, uh, Cyclops on anti-air, we'll put Kami on anti-air too. Uh, who else has an anti-air assist that um, is actually worth? We'll, we'll go to command, okay? So, even though I did mention that on startup they are they are usually invincible, but afterwards they are they, they are vulnerable to damage in some regards. So I'm going to 
uh, attempt to punish the assist, okay? Watch this shit. Um, so we're gonna record, and we're gonna have, um, we're just gonna have them do an anti assist, okay? Come on! One. Okay, did you see that? Come on! So if you respect that the anti air assist is there. One. Two. Three. So this is the one problem with anti air assist, though. You can have opportunities to punish it and do something like this, okay? So, it's like that. And then look at that, they'd be coming out with all that damage. So, be careful with how you would use your anti air assist because you can do that with pretty much any of them as long as they move. Okay, so practice that. We could even practice that on Commando. Let's see how that works out. Okay, so we took the hit, but because of how the screen moves in this game, that would allow me to assist punish a lot better. So check it out. Okay, so it's possible. Though, you can't always rely on this being a thing where Commando doesn't <laughs> come out reliably. Because Cyclops actually got hit before the assist. That's the only time an anti air assist will not, or any assist for that matter, will not do their attack is if they get hit um, prior to the assist uh, being on startup. Okay. Normally, you would have to worry about the anti air assist hitting you. So, yeah, think about it. Um, consider consider anti air assist uh, for when you assemble your team. And um, hopefully, you can put something nice together for the way you want to play Marvel 2. Okay? But, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you've been enjoying the Marvel 2 shorts and. Um, my level of gameplay. I know it's not the greatest, but we have good moments, okay? So, have a nice day. Have some fun playing Marvel 2, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.